This question has arisen because the evidence of the first accused person is I did not know the deceased at all prior to her death. So let's analyze the evidence together. I have considered the prosecution evidence and the evidence of PW10, George Kimani, the brother of the deceased, is that he has, has been, is known to the accused person because they were together at Kenya Polytechnic. As far back as, I think, two or two, they were in the same class, taking the same course in hotel and beverage management. It is the evidence of that witness, please mark the date, on 31st of August 2018, he was with the first accused person in the house of the deceased. The death hearing was on allegedly unknown time, but it's said to be 19th of September. But I am saying, and I said, please mark the date. This witness, the brother of the deceased, says, prior to the death of my sister, on 31st of August 2018, I, my girlfriend, the first accused, and the deceased were in the deceased's house. Ramoria Gardens, same apartment. And that the sister, the deceased, mentioned to him that she was communicating with the first accused on Instagram. That on the material night, the first accused person and him slept on the sofa set, otherwise known as the coach, whereas the deceased and the brother's girlfriend slept. And I'm not saying this for no reason. Everything I say has a reason. Slept on the deceased bed. It is also the evidence of George Kimani. On 19th of September, the deceased sent him a screenshot of a conversation between her and the first accused. And that conversation was to this effect. The first accused was telling the deceased that when he returns from Mombasa, he would go and see George Kimani, that is the deceased brother, for a drink and that the deceased was telling the first accused person don't spoil my brother 19th of September my observation from the evidence is that this evidence of George Kimani that on 31st of August 2018 he was in the deceased house with the first accused person was not disputed through cross-examination of the witness by the first accused person. And I will tell you why. This was the nature of cross-examination by the first accused person. I quote, The deceased was communicating with Joey, but she didn't describe how they were. I believe they were friends. There is a night we spent with the first accused house in the house of the deceased. We were all happy. I slept on the couch. I woke up in the morning. The first accused person had already gone. When I woke up, I was not very drunk. I wouldn't know what the first accused person did with my sister when I was asleep. I don't know whether he was another man in my sister's life. If he was, I would have known. I did not know Kaka. And my analysis of this cross-examination does not lead to an accused person denying that I have never, I don't know, the deceased. So that with this evidence, it is the prosecution case that there was a video retrieved from the first accused cell phone which 
allegedly, which was allegedly recorded by the first accused person, which shows that he was in the first, uh, the deceased house prior to her death. I did not have the benefit of that video. I must make it clear. But more importantly, and this evidence to the court was very important. Why am I saying it was very important? Because the evidence of George Kimani is evidence from a relative of the deceased. I treated the next evidence that I'm going to speak to as independent evidence to the question as to whether the first accused person knew the deceased prior to her death. This is the evidence of number 70110, Corporal Jonathan Limo, who testified as PW33. This is an officer tied to Safaricom Law Enforcement. He's a data analyst, and he said in his evidence that he analyzed data from a telephone number 0727. 01675 registered in the name of the first accused person, Joseph Irungu Kuria. He also analyzed data from two cell phone numbers 0727, um, sorry. 0704-170422-0715-775856. Both of them were registered in the name of the deceased, Monica Nyawira Kimani. It is the evidence of this witness that On 1st of September 2018, the number of the first accused person called the number of the deceased. And that call was made at DOD Langata, and it was an outgoing call. Based, therefore, on the evidence of George Kimani, and the data analyst PW3, it is the finding of this court that the evidence by the first accused person that he did not know the deceased prior to her death is untenable, it is insincere, and it is an afterthought, and it is false. It is the finding of this court that the first accused person was known to the deceased prior to her death.